Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. Today I'm gonna bring you all another video for my Tattooing 101 series, and for this one I'm gonna share with you how I go about setting up for a practice tattoo session. Now this one's gonna be great for those who are just starting out or want more information on how they can go about setting up. Should you have any questions, about anything that you see or hear throughout this video, I'm going to highly encourage you to drop a comment down below and I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I also have a Patreon that offers one-on-one -on -one tattoo support. I will be making PDF documents and exclusive videos for my Patreon. So if you haven't, be sure to check that out. I will leave a link in the description below for you so you can check it out on your end. With that being said, let's dive straight on into this. So from the context of we are just beginning, I'm not gonna get into any of the tattooing furniture as any surface will be good enough to practice. So we have the surface table, it doesn't matter what it is. I would want to put a barrier over that as you see right here. So place a barrier over your surface, that's first and foremost. And then now we have pretty much the chain of events here that I essentially set up in. I don't necessarily think that this is right or wrong or the only way to do this. This is just simply how it flows in my head. And allow me to illustrate or demonstrate more on that here. So let's begin. First and foremost, let's glove up. Make sure that you put on some gloves. As you see, gloves is the first over here. Now, we are already gloved up, so I'm gonna go ahead and proceed on to the next. Always, always, always glove up when setting up. That's just something that I would recommend doing. We have the tattoo machine right here, and then I'm going to plug in my wireless power supply. This is a NUMA 4 tattoo machine with a mummy wireless power supply. So this is the core of my setup right here, my tattoo machine, my power supply. I will then kind of want to determine what needles I'm going to be using for the design at hand. That will vary. For this demonstration, I have a CNC pulleys needle. Now before I go straight into tattooing, I would definitely want a barrier around my entire setup. In terms of putting a barrier around your machine, and that's going to vary from person to person. I've seen everyone do it essentially differently and tailored to their liking, to their expectations, which is completely fine. So for me personally, I always want to be able to adjust my needle depth on the fly so that way I can use any needle that I want. So where I begin with the NUMA 4 setup, and this can apply to pretty much any pin style tattoo machine, is I grab Saran Wrap. And what I do is I basically create a barrier around the machine and I kind of seal it off from the outside, so to speak. So allow me to demonstrate here. So I'm gonna grab an adequate amount of saran wrap and wrap it like so. And I've created a barrier with multiple layers and that will hold up for my tattoo session. So the entire top part of my machine is now sealed off. I can go ahead and double up right here should I choose to do so. What I'm gonna do is place my grip on now, like so. So now I have full adjustability. And what I'm gonna do is essentially repeat that process with the grip portion of the tattoo machine. And me personally, I've had nothing but good results with this cling wrap opposed to some sort of other blue films that I've used in the past where they would kind of not really adhere to the machine and kind of be sticking around, wobbling around on me. I couldn't really adjust the needle depth. So for me, this has been the best approach right here, just covering it with cling wrap like so, putting a plastic layer. As you see, it's layered around since I've wrapped it, so it has multiple layers. So now the entire machine is low risk here, and I have full adjustability to adjust the needle depth. Right here, I would simply, if you have the ability or if you've invested maybe some wooden toothpicks, wouldn't be a bad idea to invest into, or you can use your needle cartridge should you trust that. I typically use the cartridge. Place that in. So as you see, I can adjust the needle to whatever I need on the fly. So now that we have the machine entirely wrapped, I have this adhesive wrap right here that I place on the 
grip right here just so that way I'm tattooing with a bit of comfort and my hand isn't sitting on metal the entire time I'm tattooing. That's subjective. Some people prefer to tattoo on metal. Um, some people will prefer comfort. Me, I'm more of a comfort individual, so kind of layer this up as well as you see. Like so. And now my machine is ready to tattoo. So let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the setup here. So the remaining part of this setup right here is going to be from the ink on out. As you see, we have the dynamic tattooing ink, we have the inkies ointment, we have a simple spray bottle right here, and then we have some wipeout tattoo wipes right here. So how I am envisioning this practice station is this side can be where I put my fake skin and this side can be where I have my wipes, my ink, my ink cap, my where I rest my machine, where I have the rinse cup. You get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and divide the table up like so. So this side is our practice area and then on this side is going to be the supply area where all the ink and everything is right here. So next what I'm going to want to do is we can put distilled water in here for this demonstration. We're going to use our imagination and then you're going to want to cover that. Cover everything with plastic that you're going to be touching during the tattoo session. So we've already wrapped our tattoo machine. Now you're simply going to want to put some plastic around everything that you will be touching during your session. Now at this point we can consider our gloves still clean and able to handle what we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a wipeout and I like to tear off a piece on the edge and I like to shake up my ink here. So when I pour out my ink I like to make sure that my caps are stuck to there. So I'm going to use some ink ease and I have the wooden stick. And again, there's no specific order that you do this in. You kind of just do it as you see fit. And I'm going to place that down like so. And you can get whatever size amount that you need. So we've got the ink ease down right there. Now I can get my ink caps and I grab a little bit always from the wooden stick right there because there's always excess on the wooden stick. And I just place it down on my surface area. Now from that point forward, we have the wipeout wipe here. And then I pour in my ink, and this is how I do it. I unscrew the top a little bit, and I just kind of pour in like so. And then I close it back up. And the reason why I get the wipe is because when we are done, there's always excess there that needs to be wiped off. So that's why I, I tear the wipe out and use it like so to pour my ink out nice and clean there. And then some of the last steps are putting witch hazel into the rinse cup so that way when I'm switching in between needles, they do not dry out on me. So from here on out, I am essentially ready to begin tattooing. I can fire up my machine, I can draw some ink, I can pull some lines on the fake skin, I can grab the wipe out, ink ease, and wipe away. So this is the essential bare bone minimum setup that we would need to get to tattooing. Now, for this specific situation right here, there's a couple of things wrong to me that I wouldn't like upon actually tattooing. So for example, when I'm actually tattooing and I'm already in action pulling lines and my hands have inkies on them, I'm not going to be reaching for this and I'm not going to be reaching for this right here. So off the bat, what I can do is take off from the table what I am not using. I'm not going to be using the witch hazel at all either. So remove everything that you're not going to be using in your session for a clean open work area. For me, these prove the best results. Now that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to keep it simple and straight to the point here. If you have any questions about anything that you may have heard or saw throughout this video, please, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I also have a Patreon tier which offers the ability for you to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one tattooing assistance so that way you can ask me any specific tattooing questions that are tailored to your tattooing needs. I will leave links in the description below for you so you can check that out as well. 
I also have social medias all under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and a Patreon all under Daniel Yuck. I would truly appreciate the support on there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.